hang it like this. Alright, time now for another episode of Video Game Reviews. And for this episode, which is number 52 in this series, we're going to be covering a game for the PlayStation 2. A game that is very popular has resulted in numeral, numerous sequels. And this game is also being Let's Played by Nman64 right now. So he would probably be happy with uh, when he finds out that the game I'm reviewing in this episode is none other than Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, that's right. Kingdom Hearts for the PlayStation 2. The original one from 2002. Now, now this series was influenced by its parent franchise of Final Fantasy. And now the main party members that you have in this game are the main character, character Sora and the classic Disney characters of Goofy and Donald Duck. Now, there's an XP point system in this game that determines character development. This, of course, is not the only game that has this uh, type of system because, as you know, the uh, Pokemon series of games also uses this exact same system. But as you defeat enemies, you get experience and grow stronger, which lets you get new abilities. And you can actually c customize your character development in this game as a result of a short tutorial that is found at the beginning of the game. Now, the tutorial, the tutorial does is it lets you pick from one of three abilities. Strength, Defense, or Magic. Now, now there is a drawback to this because whichever one you choose to excel in, there will be one that you lack in. So whichever attribute you choose to excel in, there will be one attribute that you lack in. So this obviously affects how you learn abilities, how you grow and level up. Now Donald excels in magic and Goofy excels in defense and special attacks. Now, this game is a linear progression that goes from one story event to the next, which usually occurs in the form of a cutscene. But there are numerous side quests in this game that will benefit you, and you can also choose in what order, choose the order in which you tackle some of these areas. Now, battle in this game happens in real time and it involves pressing buttons to initiate attacks by the on-screen character. Now there is an action menu that's at the bot that you can find at the bottom left of the screen, which gives you other combat options like using magic and items, and it can also let you assign selected magic spells that can be used in an instant while holding the shoulder button on your controller. And as you progress through the game, you get Disney, you can get certain Disney characters as summons, like Dumbo and uh, the Elephant and uh, Tinkerbell from Peter Pan, and each of them have to carry their own unique abilities. Now you have an HP meter and an MP meter, both of which increase as you gain experience and level up. Now what the, the MP meter is divided into various sections that get used up when you perform magic. The more powerful the magic, the more MP you use. And that can be replenished by performing melee attacks or using items like an effer. Now what the HP meter does is it determines your character's health, uh, reducing when a character takes damage, but you can replenish it by using potions or healing spells. Uh, HP of course stating for hit points. I'm not sure what MP stands for. I'm sure Nman64 can fill me in on that. Uh, but anyway, if one of the members of your party run out of health, they'll be knocked out for a while until they get healed. But if you lose all of your health, then it's game over and you have and you start over from 
the beginning of an area or boss battle. Boss battle. The main mode of travel in this game between the worlds is the gummy ship, which uh, you have to build. And among the different worlds in this game, you are some of the different worlds that are included in this game are as follows. There are a lot of worlds, so I'm not going to list all of them. But some of the ones you can visit include Agrabah from uh, Aladdin, uh, the uh, jungle from uh, Tarzan, and uh, and the Hundred Acre Wood from Winnie the Pooh. And overall, this is a very good game. I would highly highly recommend this game absolutely 100 percent you buy this game for your ps2 assuming you have one you will not regret it but if you don't have a ps2 but you have a playstation 3 that's backwards compatible with playstation 2 games well then you can always play the game on your playstation 3 either the regular version or the uh final mix version uh, anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.